I'm gonna need a black belt for my next motor build. I'm gonna keep <laughs> it on my back. Hey. My bench. Look at this. Keeps the gremlins on my bench. No! Muffler clamps. Everyone needs a good muffler clamp. If you don't have these laying around, you're no Mike VO. <laughs> we'll sneak up on them. Just inspecting this flywheel we got back from Revolution. We had it balanced and pinned, and we're gonna remove the counterbalancer on Frederick's uh, 17 street glide. So we had to rebalance so we don't need the balancer gear in the front. So the bottom end will be able to spin up faster and we can make more power. Well, since Mike's got this out, we'll just roll into making bikes shake again. I mean, it's not really gonna shake. No, it's, they're not gonna shake. It'll just feel like a twin cam at idle. Well, it's still in the frame the same way. Yeah. So we still got the same exact motor mounts and everything. So actually taking it out, it's taking it from like a soft tail twin cam to the old school, well, which is old school now, three years old. It's taking it to what the Turing motor was. It's 16. Just 2016. Yeah. So this is setting the motor up just like that. Same motor mount setup and everything. It's just not going to be as smooth at idle, but it's going to be a lot lighter, losing a lot of mass, a lot of rotating mass. Right. This is a gear right here. It goes right on the side. That actually spins your counterbalancer way out. Oh, I already forgot this side. <laughs> the side of the, <laughs> the, the side of the flywheel. The pinion. I, I always call it crank. I'm a, I'm a big block Chevy guy. They're cranks. And these bikes, <laughs> you got a pinion shaft, you got a flywheel, you got just a crank pin, and then you have this guy called your sprocket shaft. Sprocket shaft. I've too many years messing with big blocks. We welded the pin so it can't shake itself apart under the extreme pressure we're gonna do, and rebalanced the flywheel assembly to compensate for not having the counterbalancer in the motor. Yeah, and on this particular build, we're gonna do 124 cubic inch uh, motor with branch heads and a prototype Andrews cam that they built for us to test for on a 550 lift cam. But we're gonna go over this whole build so you can see it from start to finish. As we get the pieces in, we'll go over each piece we're doing. As Mike builds it, we'll document it, and then we'll have everything from completion and all the numbers it does. <laughs> you gonna go listen to the Moody Blues for a while? Yeah, we can play my office. Yeah, little, little Moody Blues Kid Rock mashup. Look at the other cranks online. Dude, this is the only guy I know with a shirtless picture of Kid Rock. It's Nashville, what do you, what do you want from me? <laughs> Safety first. Look at these things. First pair he's ever bought. Yeah, and I still have them. And you can't even see out of them. If he's building your bike with these, ooh, not good. <laughs> not good. I just use these to drill precision holes. <laughs> Mike and his lube. Just carries the shit around all day long. Just I do. Walks around with his Look, box of lube. Got my all he does. So glad. This is like my Frank's hot sauce, man. I put this shit on everything. Yep. You gotta have this on your toolbox at all times. Half court of Sin 3. It's the best, you yeah. know.